Okay, so originally this light was in the middle position. It wasn't lit up for the kitchen or the corridor. So what if I switched it to the corridor? There we go. Should have done this sooner. I spent a lot of matches to get here. Pretty much all out. So we gotta grab these and make my way over there. That way we can um do we can move the that cupboard cabinet thing out of the way of the um electric cord. Oh god! Fuck! Is this new? From Selena to William excerpt number three. We spend the summer of 1935 partying. Jim is constantly introducing us to new people. It is his job as a producer, he says. He pays for everything. He always makes me drink too much, arguing that Scandinavian girls can drink. Well, I can't. But I love alcohol. I enjoy whiskey and I often end up drunk. We play one concert after the other all along the coast. At the end of the show, people come to see me, offer me flowers, tell me they wouldn't miss any of my performances for any reason. It's hard to believe, but I feel I am changing already. My eyes are getting used to the spotlights. I feel more comfortable on stage and I learn how to seduce the audience. How to seduce men as well. They like me. They think I'm beautiful. And I take advantage of it. We rehearse at Gats. He is our drummer. As he has a spare room, I end up living there for good. My parents try to stop me, but I am growing up and there's nothing they could do. I believe they figured how all this would end. Uh, looks like, uh, looks like sh show business is changing her. I wonder if that was before or after she, um, worked at the mirrors, smoking mirrors. Oh, there's a camera here I never picked up, too. Let's see, it's this one. August 18th, two, or 1900. A great day for both our families. Whoa, someone just... really doesn't like Margaret. Damn. Damn it, there she is. She's still there. Yes, yeah, she is. Gotta gotta run to the light. Gotta run to the light. Oh fuck that. Let's just get in the kitchen. ASAP. Okay, we're good. <sighs> it's really nice and convenient that they can only haunt or she can only haunt like certain spaces pretty convenient for me. Fuck yeah. Awesome. She died. Or not really died, but she's not in that zone anymore. That's nice. I appreciate that. Now let's just make our way there. Hopefully, uh, I don't get caught by her again. So, the letters that we're picking up, the, the entries by Selena, I wonder if she's sending um, William those after she stopped working at the Smoke and Mirrors? Could it be that they got, you know, each other's contact information and then started, like, being pen pals after she, um, she started working for someone else? Okay. Oh, okay. oh, fuck! Not again! Oh, man. Okay, she's obviously gonna be right there. So, do I hug the this side of the room or the other side of the room? I think I should hug this side of the room. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Now run. There we go. Let's go, go, go. Get to the light. I don't even know your name, but... Get to the light. Okay. Okay, we're good. Push this fucking thing. Come on. Uh, 
Finally. Finally. Damn it! What? I guess that was the end of that chapter. I feel like I spent a lot of time on that chapter. Whoa. Smoke and Mirrors was... What was it? Some club? Some other club? Alright. The gramophone. Oh no, something here was definitely wrong. I'm, am I outside where the car crash happened? This is kind of cool. This is really trippy, but this is kind of cool. I I have a feeling that I'm supposed to follow the spotlights. I I might die if I don't. Is that is that it? I don't even know where I'm going. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just get over there. I'm not exactly sure where my character is. There, there, there I am. N. That letter N would be useful, I just didn't know how. It's probably the N in Selena's name. Whatever, there's a call box. Or there's a power box. It didn't make sense, was I- was it real or am I going some- I didn't read that fast enough. This is really, really cool. Pieces of a puzzle, the clues are gathering. I needed to think. It's definitely Selena's name. There's an E right here. Oh, there's a space for me to put a bunch of stuff too. There's the S. S E L E N goes here. So there's a crash car, a bunch of documents, and what looks like blood on the floor. Did Selena get hit by a car? Is that why? Her ghost appeared before me when I was driving my car? God, I have so many questions. And I feel like I might have messed up. So oh! Oh, don't stay in the light. Oh, don't stay in the shadows for too long. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. The screen starts shaking when you stay in the shadows for too long. Let's go back over here to the gramophone. Let's see. No. No, light. Come on. Oh, I was supposed to interact with the car. The ignition key was still there. I could use the lights. Did, um... Yeah, something over over here opened up, too. Okay. Can I... Yeah. L? A and an E. Someone spent a lot of time cutting these letters. And it wasn't a game. Yeah. Was it William? Bloody scissors were lying on the desk. Whoa. Why bloody? I'm guessing she died in that house. Maybe poor Selena was, um, getting too used to the showbiz life. Let her guard down. And she ended up in that house where she didn't make it out. Was it William? Maybe William's been getting Selena's letters after they connected and after she started moving out of uh, working at the Smoke and Mirrors and he got upset and he decided to kill her. Guess we'll find out soon. Oh. This mark was meant for me. Someone was trying to guide me. Oh, I don't. Gotta put it down. Don't pick it up. Put it down. Anyway, there she is. Let's see what happens. Help me! For an instant, 
I thought I was lying in a bar. That Selena was just a dream born from a whiskey bottle. But no whiskey would send you this kind of angel. She was watching over me. Ah, uh, thanks, Selena. I don't remember plugging that in. That wasn't supposed to be plugged in. Okay. I saw a note on the desk. I'm not sure if I picked it up ever. But... I want to see... Or, um, damn. Come here. Come here. Yeah, shit. Should have known. Where was that note? On the table. You know what? I honestly cannot find the note that I that I saw. Like everything is a mess over here. If we I go over here, everything looks like normal. Like there's a chair upright. But the moment I walk over there, it's it's just knocked over. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm unable to pick it up anymore since you know she's right there. At any rate, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go find where um this cord leads. Oh, this cord leads to the the light. But I need that light bulb. Right? I'm missing a light bulb. Yeah, the switch didn't respond because there's not a light bulb in here. So that's the next piece of the puzzle. Three women, sisters maybe. Strangely enough, one of them was smiling. Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> yes! Ah, finally, I felt like a child worshipping light after he had a nightmare. Praise the fucking light, dude. Oh my god, finally I can explore this room. This entire time I know I saw a chandelier above her. Something bad happened to that chair, better it than me. Yeah, could it have possibly been because uh, it was used to hung, to um, to hang somebody? Like you know, you attach yourself to something up high with a noose, and then you, while well, you're standing on a chair, and then you just jump off, you know. Anyway, I saw that chandelier above her. I saw it. I just I could, didn't know how to get to it. Okay, what's in this chest? Oh, the second shoe. Is there anything I can... Oh, there's a portrait. Whatever the picture will always look back at you. And... What is this? That light bulb had nothing to do here. Yes! Yes! We're making progress. Uh, there's a second shoe. I don't know why there's a second shoe there. Um... Doesn't look like any of these books are readable. I wonder if I can go pick up the other shoe. Oh! Is there- Yeah, there's a note on the ground. Victim's note number three. Dear Arena, We have decided to accept your proposal to come take a picture of our family. We know nothing about art, but I believe showing what is happening today in the heart of America is the right thing to do. You will see our flat is awfully tiny and dark. We miss our house, and the children often ask when we'll go back home. They still can't believe a bank could steal their house. Yesterday they told me, what do they need it for? Don't they have a house of their own already? When you have no answer to counter a child's logic, it means things have gone really bad. In any case, they know you are coming, and they are very excited about it. We'll be waiting for you. You know our address in Black Lake. See you soon. Marilyn Campbell. So, is Arena a photographer? This is a victim's note, right? But it's addressed to Irina from a Marilyn Campbell. Is Marilyn the one that's the victim? Or was that just a note that was, like, owned by the victim? There's a door right there. But first, I'm going to see if I can take this shoe and put it in the, the box with the others. And nah, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, let's go. Oh, forgot to look at this painting. 
European mountains, I felt so far away. Nothing special. Nothing special about that. Boston Brahmins, June 6, 1938. In these troubled times, one would dream about the glorious past of our city, about the founding fathers who built and strengthened its walls. They would be the Boston Brahmins, the bigwigs, businessmen, lawyers and soldiers whose sense of morality helped draw the lines of the city and gave it a soul. And what a soul! Without them, Boston would be one of those many little towns of the East Coast. Thanks to them, in less than a century, it became the major economic, financial, and cultural center we all know. And while we can see those who will build the century to come, the newly graduated from Harvard, symbol of the city's pursuit of excellence, let us keep in mind the spirit of the pioneers, whose clear speech inherited from New England still sings in T.S. Eliot's poems and in the voice of Catherine Hepburn. Eight years ago, Malcolm Nichols resigned from office. He was the last of the Brahmins, the last Republican to hold the mayor's office. But it was still here, this noble blood which built roads, schools, churches, courthouses, and hospitals, an economic crisis, no matter how dire it is, will never wash away their dignity. I must admit, I do try to pay attention to these things when I read them, but sometimes it's hard to like really focus on what it's saying while I'm reading. Margaret and Henry Vesper, two strangers pretending to be married. Well, that's definitely something that I've noticed during the notes at least. I, I know that for sure. They don't really get along all that much. Let's see here. The mother of men, my mother, you allow me to be a man. October 29th, 1938. Okay, this... I guess this was just a picture of Vesper Inc. Looks like it burned to the ground. Weird. Now, it's very highly... It's a very high possibility that Margaret and Henry only got married. Because that's what their parents wanted to do? It sounds like both of them might have come from very prominent families who own businesses. That's why it's Vesper Venser Inc. Margaret is the Vesper part of it, I think. Unless she's just really, um, really into, a uh, Henry's company. Who knows? Gotta get more notes to find out the truth. But that'll come later. I gotta put this light bulb in first. That's a big ass light bulb. <laughs> Wait, it had it was decorated with many craters that looked like the moon. I think it was what uh the description of the light bulb was. I finally had more hold over the night. Every single time I see a moon in this game, or moon like references, I am very happy. It's definitely a, a good thing. The moon. This is March 3rd, 1921. Okay, there, there's more moon symbolism right there in that photo. There's more knife references too. Up here you can see some a picture of somebody holding a knife and more moon. Could this be, um, could this be William or Henry? Maybe Henry was just a weirdo? Maybe he, he looks like there's an obsession with knives. Somebody had an obsession with knives. Victim's note number one. Dear mom, please do not worry. Robert's salary was cut by 50%, but he should be able to keep his job. That's how it goes with the crisis, even if it means we have to live with 20 to 25 bucks a week. I try to barter and I do a few things here and there in exchange for food. To avoid wasting gas, I cook several meals at a time. I collect used clothes and stitch them back into shape and of course, I only buy bread when it's one day old. At least when the bread is hard, the boys don't gobble it up in no time. But we are lucky, neither of them got sick. Winter is coming, though. Last week, we went to the cinema with Paul, and we saw the Blue Angel with Marlene Dietrich. What a woman. 
Here are five dollars. That's the best I can do right now, but we'll soon be with you. Take care of yourself. Fuck. 20 to 25 bucks a week. But this was back in like 1930s. You can get a lot for 20 to 25 bucks a week. Nowadays, not so much. But shit. Hospital bills for sick children during the Great Depression? Holy damn. That must have been rough. So, bro. This is also rough. I'm very low on matches right now. I don't know if I can explore this room without dying. The coffin let out the noxious smell of death and rot. There she is. She's not coming any closer to me, is she? No, she's walking off. She looks like she's walking upstairs. We're good. I'm good. Now, is there a light switch in here? There's another door. There, there are two coffins. One open and one closed. That's very strange. Three. Two open and one closed. Margaret Vesper. That's her picture of her grave and another picture of somebody holding a knife. Was she murdered? Could she have been murdered? He seemed drawn to that book. There's four coffins. Oh! She's coming! She's coming for me! No! No! Oh, please walk away. Please walk away. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a stupid bitch! Let's check out quite a lot of religious portraits for a single house. Oh boy. Okay, let's not push my luck. Okay, I have to push my luck. I locked. Damn it. Of course. And no way to know what was waiting behind it. Yeah. Oh, there she is again. I need more matches. I don't want to have to run all the way back to the kitchen though. That's a far trip. I probably should do it though. I don't know if they're gonna I don't know if I'm gonna find matches in this room. Ugh, god damn it. Does she she doesn't walk up the stairs, she walks further down this room. There's like there's an object above the stairs. Let's go get them. They're matches. Go go go. I don't even know what our name is. Whoa! Oh, oh fuck this! Ah oh, damn it! Damn it! 